Cousin marriage is not acceptable in Sudan. Cousin marriage is the marriage between a man and a woman, a girl and a boy, a female and a male who are related by the family bond of being cousins, that the girl is the daughter of the uncle of the boy and the boy is the son of the uncle of the girl. This relationship is called cousins and it is the acceptable and legal and correctest form of relationship and marriage in Arabs, in Islam and historically in humanity around the world that there is a general acceptance in humanity for the marriage between cousins. However, recently, cousin marriages have become unacceptable in Sudan. And this change in Sudan from a traditional Arab Muslim society where people married their cousins to a modern marriage system between strangers where a man would find a girl in a university walking down the street in the bus in a hospital in the town hall near a court in a park and they would choose to be married half sex and half children. That casual sex in Sudan is legal, where strangers would meet and all they have to do is sign a paper for a civil marriage with the government and their fornication is made acceptable to society, to Muslims and to humanity around the world. That in Islam, sexual intercourse between strangers is classified as fornication and adultery. That the only legal relationship in Arabs and in Islam is between that of cousins. However, using loopholes in society that the Arabs of Sudan are in a different continent, they're in Africa instead of in Arabia, that the Muslim scholars such as the Sharifs of Sudan and the Sheikhs such as the Sheikhs of, of Sudan, after the changes in Sudan that the traditional scholarship has been oppressed while modern scholars who studied a few courses at university as are allowed to be a front in society, in TV, in journalism and travel around the world and become famous and known to their names and faces. And at the th third loophole is the loophole of the government where any registration of a piece of paper, a contract of marriage civilly registered to the government is considered a valid marriage, regardless if they're cousins or strangers who met down the street and they exchanged favours of money and benefits which would make it into prostitution rather than a marriage. That marriage in Sudan is being used as a front for, for, for prostitution where girls are promised money, flats and houses and cars and travelling abroad for allowing sex to happen with a man who's a stranger, who's older, who's married to a different woman, who's not her cousin. And this change in society in Sudan has was gradual. That Sudan in the early 90s, mid 90s, there were a few girls in society who would stand next to a man who's a stranger down the street and be seen by people and fewer than that who will accept presents from a man who's not their cousin 
and even rare acts of fornication and pregnancies from strangers where the, the, the bastard child from that relationship would be killed by his mother or her family in shame. And Sudan have changed from this a society where fornication and having a bastard child with a stranger for favours of money was rare while the majority of people married their cousin under strict Islamic laws where Sharia laws were used properly to define a marriage such as in marriage there has to be permission of the parents there have to be a dowry it has to be famed there have to be two witnesses they have to be compatible they have to be cousins and they have to be a celebration that all the necessary requirements criteria for a valid Islamic marriage <clears throat> was used traditionally in Sudanese society so that the majority of people in Sudan to a high percentage were born were married and married their children to their cousins in lawful Islamic marriages that are legal in Is Islamic laws Arab laws and acceptable to be presented to the world and humanity at large <clears throat> <clears throat> However, what happened is, after 20 years or so, modernly, after the millennium 2000, there's been a change where cousin marriages became the rare in society. A man to be married to his cousin, a girl given to her cousin, her male cousin boy, has become what is rare, what is strange, what is unaccepted whilst the majority of girls have decided to sell their honour to a stranger for benefits of this world without giving much value to God, to religion, to being Arab and to being Muslim which is very unfortunate <clears throat> but what is more illsome is the fact that it's a hidden change in Sudanese society that the world is not aware of it so there could be knowledge from the whole world about the changes that have happened in Sudanese society and these changes at most were forced, were propagated, were made acceptable by the royals in Sudan, by the sheikhs of Sudan, by the sharifs of Sudan who 20 years ago they married their sons and their daughters to strangers thus starting making marriages with strangers to be acceptable in Sudan between Sudanese, Arabs and Muslims. And the reasons they give for their unacceptance of cousin marriage is they say cousin marriage is backward, it's old, it's a, tra it's a boring tradition and that marrying a stranger is modern, is civilised, is sophisticated and that any who choose to marry their cousin they aggress against them, they call them mentally ill they're an outcast from society they are atrocitized and they're punished for it that they're saying that the Islamic Arab marriage of cousins is unacceptable in Sudan, that it's backward, that the modern choice of marriage with marrying a stranger who you do not know, somebody you met down the street, at university, in a public place, in a library, or in a park, or on the bus stop, or in the town hall or in your neighbor's house is what is an, the acceptable relationship that by being different to tradition they're being modern and by being modern they are associating to the new civilized mod, uh, urbanization that happened in Sudan 
And by doing that, they feel they have supported civilization and that their choice of marriage with a stranger is the civilized choice of marriage. And that any who choose to marry their cousin, they're going against civilization. They want to, to stop civilization and urbanization in Sudan and in Africa. That they're an enemy to the people of Sudan. That they're an enemy to the people of Africa. That they're an enemy to the people of Islam. That they believe marrying a stranger is going to help them support civilization and urbanization. That if a girl chooses to marry her cousin, she's not just being traditional or a Muslim, as cousin marriage is commanded in the Quran and Hadith, and is the way of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, but they're being against civilization. They're putting their people into disadvantage. That the girl who chooses to marry her cousin doesn't want hospitals to be open to patients. That she doesn't want students to go to school. That she doesn't want airports to be open for international flight. That they are uncivilized, they're backward and they're against urbanization and civilization that helps people. And they're accusing them of this in the most vulnerable of, of places in Africa. And all of this is because they want to marry strangers and they don't want to marry their cousins. Believing marrying a cousin is not going to give pleasure in sex, the children will be ill, that they're doing something that is old and traditional, that they want to stand out by doing something different. And something that is modern to these times so that they become associated to technology, to hospitals and airports, all things that are modern and new in the, in the newly urbanized Sudan. However, cousin marriage is commanded by the Quran. God says in verse 50 of chapter 33, the groups, lawful are the cousin marriages. Two verses further, in the same chapter, the groups, chapter 33, verse 52, God says, Unlawful are stranger ma women. Therefore, marrying your cousin in Islam is, is halal, it's allowed. And marrying a stranger in Islam is not allowed. It's a very clear distinction in the Quran. And likewise in the Hadith, where Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, The best wife is the cousin. And in a different Hadith he said, One of the signs of the end of time is that a man will leave his cousin without looking at her and marries a stranger he met randomly in a public place. Islam can't be more clear than that, in that cousin marriage is what is lawful, and marrying a stranger is forbidden, it's a fornication, an adultery that is punished in laws of Sharia ah and punished by God in hellfire. And therefore, accepting, supporting and spreading the acceptance of cousin marriage will help bring proper understanding of Arabs Islam and history of Sudan. The greatest victim to the unacceptance of cousin marriage in Sudan as has changed from the tradition of marrying cousins as is Arab law and Islamic Sharia law. The greatest victim of this change to marrying of strangers and the first to announce to the world that I am a victim of this social change from traditional cousin marriage to marrying strangers is me, Maisa Ashir. I was born in the family of a sheikh, of a sheikh al Majzoub of Albania in Sudan, who was a king, he was a sheikh, and he was a sharif, a descendant of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. However, when I reached age of marriage in puberty in 1997, 
instead of my cousin, Sheikh Sharif Hamza, son of Awadullah, son of Sheikh al Majzoub, marrying me to give me a home, a life, and survival in Africa, and children who who carry the bloodlines of Prophet Muhammad. Instead, he was chosen to marry a strange girl from a, a different village. A commoner called Hawa bit al-Mahal wa al-Tahir. And from their marriage, marriages between strangers became acceptable in Arab laws and Islamic laws of the land of Sudan. And after marrying Hawa bit al-Mahal wa al-Tahir, Hamza was then allowed by his family to marry more than seven girls, all of whom are strangers and not his cousin, not me, Maysa, daughter of Muhammad al Qasim, son of a Sheikh al Majzoub. And at the moment, Hamza, my cousin, is married to a girl, a stranger from different tribes to the Ashraf's descendants of Prophet Muhammad, called Alawiya Hafiz. Had Adam, who lives with him in Port Sudan, in their royal estate, their religious royal estate. And she has given him more than four children, all of whom are bastards in laws of Arabs and Islam. And I have been protesting against cousin marriages ban in Sudan. That I want cousin marriages to become acceptable again in Arabs and in Muslims and in humanity because it's a pure relationship it's a pure creating that gives evidence to a pure creator God Allah of Islam and it's mentioned in the Quran and Hadith and therefore I have written this book this book called Cousin Marriage in Islam by Maysa al-Sheikh is available from lulu.com. It's in Arabic at the moment, but there will be a translation of the book in English. And I have a, a series of lectures on cousin marriages in Arabic and in English in my YouTube channel, Maysa Ashir. And I am still asking my family for more than a year to allow me to marry my cousin. Hamza, Awadullah, Sheikh al Majzoub, so that we can have a child who is legitimate in Islam and in Arab laws and who we can show to the world as a lawful, blessed child from Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him's bloodlines. And I ask you for your prayers and I ask you for your support by subscribing to my channel and, of course, by spreading the word to allow cousin marriage to become acceptable again in Sudan, in Arabs, and in Islam, and around the world. Thank you for listening to me. I really appreciate it. God bless.